folks this is Darth Ravage 07 coming at you with another quick review this time it's another throwback to what helped me start collecting uh, transformers to begin with this is the second figure I bought at Toys R Us that day this is Beast Wars Ultra Class Megatron this guy is predominantly purple and green he has a little bit of articulation in his forearms there he has some hip cannons uh, if you pull it out and you press a button they spring out of there really good and fast the other play feature that this uh, figure has that was really kind of crazy and it was installed to begin with is that this tongue here has a built-in water bladder and you can actually get to all that by pulling out to the bottom there and you can take that thing off which I dare not because mine's really dry rotted but then it would pump with each a little push like once it's installed and it had water in it. I'm not sure if the re-release that they did for Toys R Us has this feature. Give me just a moment here. So re thread it. And that's usually not a good sign. There we go. Got it reloaded. His head even has articulation, even with the play feature. And then like to squirt, you would just hit this and it would pump it and squirt it out. A little snap action, but you can also simulate a fire blast in robot mode, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. Going around the other side of the figure, you can see it's got the nasty old screws and they just didn't put any sprues to, to cover that up. This is, uh, it was a night, it's a $21 figure when it first came out. There's his back. Not a whole lot of action to go on here. So I'm going to convert this guy over into his robot mode. And we will get to uh, through his features there. And uh, please uh, always, you know, watch the other video reviewers like Kato and uh, Larkin's Lair. Those guys got some good reviews with some good footage. They do the box art and whole nine yards, and I really do appreciate them for uh, giving me some pointers. Thank you. And subscribing to my channel. Uh, the magic of video editing slash pause. We are going to convert to robot mode. And here we have Beast Wars Megatron in his robot mode. He was a pretty kibbleligious figure, as you can see here, rotating around. He basically has all the dinosaur parts hanging off his back and what have you. Surprised that he even stands up as well as he does. Um, basically, looks like a super Grimlock to me, and uh, or another what if if Grimlock got ever upgraded. Uh, there's a dragon-esque face that you really can't see that good on this camera in this light, but once you do peel open this you realize very recognizable G1 Megatron head and uh, this is just a absolutely great figure to get your hands on if you can get your hands on it they did do a remake of this and made things more show accurate by even putting the Predacon symbol there on his forehead and uh, doing away with the mutant mask for this uh, ultra class size figure and uh he has a gimmick here with this where he has this little clamp pincer i don't really just like to demonstrate but then again this is a fully functional uh he did this in the show several times where he blasts people so then you would get that squirt action again on uh people that would uh, oppose megatron's rule <laughs> and he's this is one of the more ruthless uh, megatrons in history if you've watched beast wars you know what i'm talking about he just he, he had an agenda and he followed it to a t and uh this guy he just really helped me love transformers again uh every good guy needs a an excellent feeling and this guy certainly fills that role. I will eventually get the masterpiece version of this as I move forward and get this uh, channel more and more popular. As my reviews will not do the transformations on there and will be short, quick, and to the point. And uh, 
just to talk about the features, uh, you know, where I was at, how, like with this one, this is like the second Transformer I bought at Toys R Us. The other one was Optimus Primal. It was the third one that brought me back to Transformers collecting, but uh, had a lot of fun out of the box with this. The hip cannons are fully functional there, and uh, they articulate to however you want, but I like them in that neutral position because the spring on the guns are really, really powerful, and they'll come flying at you. But uh, if you've not ever given Beast Wars a chance, it's, it's, it shows definitely worth a watch, and uh, it does all kinds of fan service throughout. And uh, the figure, like having it in hand after watching the show back then, and then having a figure in hand, it was just really great because these these were really true to what you saw on this the show for back then. This was a, a phenomenal step forward with Transformers, and. Uh, you ever imagine what they would do actual creatures like the Predacons, like from G1, uh, to, to give them beast modes and stuff. And beast modes were uh, dual, uh, d the duality of it. The beast mode helped them keep from absorbing too much energon and would keep them from going to stasis lock. But then in order to win a fight, they would convert to robot mode and have more weapons and more powers. And, and anyhow, if they stayed in season one in this mode too long they would they would build up too much energy on lock up and and or going to stasis and their inner cpus had always worn them as they approached this step in the show and if you like this video please smash that like button subscribe to my channel make sure to hit that bell to get any notifications of the the new videos i put up i will be going through like my entire backlog to help you know uh, show folks transformers over the years and help you know people see how passionate I am about this 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 uh this universe uh, and my collection is uh, pretty pretty big not as big as some of the other guys out there but I mean I hit all the, the main fun spots there between ninety seven and two thousand twenty uh, uh, siege and and looking forward to Earthwise uh, I got a lot of the seat I got most of the siege down. And then I'm starting to get these Earthrise figures and uh, look forward to, to reviewing them for you as well. Uh, also, make sure to, to visit my uh, website for mbuckner.cruisesinc.com to help give me a call and me, allow, allow me to help you plan your next dream vacation with your family. Have an awesome getaway to talk about for years to come. I've been on four cruises so far and uh, each of those just got sweeter and sweeter. And, uh, if you have a love for the water and or love for food and the best food on earth and uh and you see a lot of really cool places that you would normally not see every day thanks again for watching my video subscribe if you like uh like comment let me know what i could do to do this better and and thank you again for your time and patience have an excellent evening and i hope you have a happy and safe night